Hey guys, what's up? My name is Emily Hood and welcome back to this week's episode of The Hood Report. On this week's episode, we will be discussing this year's State of the Union address, a recap of the Super Bowl, and a look at some of my favorite commercials. Last night, President Trump finally gave his State of the Union address after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi rescinded her original invitation during the government shutdown. Stacey Abrams will give the Democratic response. She is a former gubernatorial candidate from the state of Georgia and lost her race in 2018. At the time this is being filmed, the State of the Union address has not happened yet, but the President is expected to pitch a bipartisan plan and an outline of policies that both sides of the aisle can agree on. Super Bowl 53 happened on Sunday and many fans were kind of disappointed with how it turned out. The game ended up being the lowest scoring Super Bowl in history with the Patriots eventually pulling out the win 13-3. Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman was named the Super Bowl MVP after an impressive 141 yard performance in Sunday's game. Tom Brady became the winningest quarterback in NFL history with his six championships. Of course, along with the actual football game, one of my favorite parts of the Super Bowl is the commercials. There were some golden ads this year that I really enjoyed and my all-time favorite has got to be Bubbly's Sparkling Waters ad with Michael Bublé. In the ad, Michael Bublé insists that his last name is the proper way to pronounce the Sparkling Waters brand name and nearly has a midlife crisis when other members of the grocery store tell him he's pronouncing it wrong. You're Michael Bublé. That's a bubbly. She's right, Michael Bublé. It's pronounced Bublé. I know, thanks. Davi. Can I have your autograph, Mr. Bubbly? It's Bublé. Some of my other favorite ads were Pepsi's ad called Is Pepsi Okay featuring Steve Carell, Little John, and Cardi B. I'll take a Coke. Is Pepsi okay? Is Pepsi okay? Is Pepsi okay? Ow! Oh, our puppy's okay. Is a shooting star okay? Is the laughter of a small child okay? Um. Are you with me? And Microsoft's ad featuring its adaptive Xbox controllers. What I like about the adaptive controller is that now everyone can play. I don't even have to look at the controller and just be like looking at the screen like, hey, yep, yep. You never want your kid to feel like an outsider or an other. One of the biggest fears early on is, how will Owen be viewed by the other kids? <laughs> He's not different when he plays. I'll have a link down below for those of you who want to watch my favorite commercials and some other great ones from the night. And that is all the stories that we have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of The Hood Report. And as always, make sure to tune into FHN Today TV on Friday to watch Our Flower with Dylan Lauer. I hope you all have a great week.